until I put the mascarpone in. The mascarpone is gonna join in and have a good party too. And our pasta is ready. Hey guys, welcome to Italy. I am Coral and behind the camera is Riccardo today. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I can't remember how long, we filmed a giveaway video and we asked all of you to give us some ideas of what we can do for a video. And the winners were Alessandra and Federica and their video idea was to do a pasta revenge. Because if you haven't seen, uh, me and Riccardo did an Italian versus English cooking or Italian cooked, Italian cooked? Well, Ricardo cooked carbonara and I cooked like a... No, it wasn't a carbonara. No? It was, it was a cacio e pepe. Oh, okay. Well, Ricardo cooked a cacio e pepe, like you just said, not carbonara. <laughs> and I cooked um, like pasta with just like tomato sauce from the bottle, apart from I didn't salt the water properly and I didn't do anything with the pasta sauce. So, that is actually not how I cook. So all of those like comments like, oh my goodness, she's such a bad cook, she needs to learn how to cook, blah 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 blah, there was tons of them. And also tons about Ricardo saying he wasn't doing it properly, but we we're not going to go into that one because people just cook it their own way and sometimes we do things differently because that's what we like to do. Um, so, I'm going to show you how I really cook pasta today, not like that other video that you saw. So we're going to be using fresh pasta that we have made. So if you want to see us making this, let us know. And for the time being, you can go check out Alessandro and Federica's video, as we don't have one of these pasta making videos yet, but they do. So let us know if you'd like to see us making one or so. Right now, I'm going to boil some water in a pan <gasps> on the fire. <gasps> You're going to use fire? I use a fire. You're not using the kettle? It's broken. Oh. <laughs> You know, one of the comments actually said that you probably just cooked the pasta with a kettle water and you didn't turn on the fire just because it was low fire. Oh, right. Yeah, they were convinced that That'd you actually gross, cooked it. Yeah, so they were like, how do you even cook the pasta? The <laughs> pasta's not even cooked because you just used the boiling water from the kettle. Like, what? That'd be disgusting. <laughs> Imagine that, because that water would just go cold as soon as like, you put the pasta in, it would just like chill it down. <laughs> Oh, if you're wondering what that is, that is Super Mario. Can you see it? Let's what go! What you do is get yeah. like an artistic view. I think you can. Okay, so for the sauce, I'm not going to be making like the ragu tomato -y sauce. I'm going to be doing a mushroom mascarpone sauce. So first thing that I need to do is to get my pan. My pan. And I need to put it on the fire along with some chopped pieces of garlic and some olive oil and I'm going to let the garlic sit there for a little bit. After the garlic has been sitting there for a little bit, not too much because otherwise it will burn. And then I'm going to put in the mushrooms to sit with the garlic and the olive oil and then we're just going to chill there and have a little party together. <laughs> Until I put the mascarpone in. The mascarpone is going to join in and have a good party too. Now my water is boiling, like it's bubbling, that's how I know it's boiling. And I'm going to use salt, so it's the big salt, not the little salt, before I put the pasta in. So I'm going to do that now, and not after I've put the pasta in. Once we put our mascarpone in the pan, we also need to get some of the cooking water from the pasta and pour it in so that the mascarpone becomes more liquidy and also add some salt to make it more salty and give it more flavour. And then that's the sauce finished, so once your pasta is ready, you're then going to transfer your pasta, once you've drained it, obviously, to the sauce and give it a good mix around. Mix, mix, mix. Then you can eat it.
pasta is ready. So Ricardo, you ate it. Oh, do I have to? Mm -hmm. Don't want to die. So this pasta doesn't have a name. So whoever is trying to say, oh, that's a, a carbonara gone wrong or something like that, <laughs> as they normally do. <laughs> Like last time when I made the Italian pasta, I made it, it was a cacciapepe with just onions more. So I added onions and everyone was saying, no, that's not a cacciapepe, that's disgusting. What did you even make? Like, what were you talking about? I just like to make something like that. That's Italian, that's good. People like it, it was tasty. So- Have you even had a bite yet? No. And I hope you enjoy and eat coral too. And I hope you um, enjoyed watching how I can actually make pasta. If you want to complain, just send us an email and we will definitely not look into it. Okay. Bye-bye.